Hi everybody, this is Cindy over at Paper Old and New, and I am here for another Stash to Treasure video. Um, if you've been keeping up with me reading this list, I know, I know, greeting cards and playing cards and all that was last week. Um, this week is stickers, washi, masking, or duct tape. Um, no, I am not a week behind. However, I'm trying something, and I thought I would bring you along for the ride in a loose interpretation of the word stickers. So I did get some washi out and some decorating stuff, so hopefully we can make a few of these and decorate them, and this is going to be how I do it. These are sticker sheets, clear, full-size sticker sheets that I printed um, stuff on. I mean, well, you can see. Uh, now these are mushrooms. I have a couple of other things over there to the side. If we get a few of these done and we still have time, I will, um, maybe we'll do a different, different idea. But, so what I'm gonna do is, this is a full sheet. Uh, they go this way, so I wanna try and keep the mushrooms upright. I'm not gonna try and make them sideways. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off half. I'm just gonna get right in this. Uh, stash to treasure, by the way, is the idea is to pull things out of your stash and use them up to make really cool treasures for your junk journals. Um, this is a collab that is being hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming, Susan at Susan Hiles Art, uh, Helen at Moss Cottage, and Maria at Maria's Miscellany. And um, so far, it's been a lot of fun. It's been going on for two months. Well, a month and a half at this point. Um, it runs through the end of February. Um, and if you've missed any of the weeks, you should go back and take a look because there's been lots of great ideas um, for each of the topics. Like I said, this week is stickers and tape, basically. Um, these are sticker sheets. So I felt like it went in the... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making altered playing cards. And the idea behind this is you take the sticker sheet and you stick your cards down on your sticker sheet, like that. And like I said, these are clear sticker sheets. I suppose if you didn't want to see the card through the, the sheet, you could use a, like white sticker paper. but I thought it would be kind of cool to be able to see the card through the sheet. Now for this area in here, it's not big enough. It's not, I, I may end up turning some of them sideways just because I don't want to waste any of it. So um, I'm hoping that I can get at least three across the page. Let's see if I can get this up without causing too much damage. Like I said, these are full size I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be full-size mailing labels, like you, so you print, like a shipping label, you know, anyway. But obviously you can print whatever you want on them. So let's see, let's do a number. I'm leaving a little bit of space in between for cutting. Let's do something other than a black card. How about this? And as you can see, I'm going to have some, you know, strips where uh, the card doesn't get used. I have these. Um, these will definitely have to, I like the fact that they have a cool corner on them. These will definitely have to be covered. I don't like that back as far as keeping that goes. So I won't be keeping that, but I do like the shape of the card. So let's stick one of these down here. Okay, and we'll do another, maybe we'll do, how about a club or a heart? What do I got? 
Do I have any number clubs? I do have number clubs. Okay, let's do a five of clubs. I got this idea. I will link the video. I do not remember. I apologize. The lady who did this that I watched, I've watched her do it a couple of times. And, um, you know, she calls it a, like a cheat, an altar card based cheat. And I think it's a great idea. I mean, Okay, that's that, and then we'll do another one of these for here. And we'll go this way. Okay. Now the idea here is if you wanted to, you could then put a sheet down and glue uh, over top of, I mean, I guess over top of the backs while you've got them in a sheet. But this is what they look like on the other side. So they've already got uh, stuff on them. So let's cut a few of these out and see if we can't decorate them. I'm not really sure how well they're going to cut just because it's on sticky paper. So it's going to be, I, I'm using my sticky scissors. Um, but I watched, like I said, I watched her do this on a video and I was like, that is such a cool idea. So I printed um, on some sticker paper and I hauled this in an Amazon haul and explained that this is not Avery. This is an off, like an off brand, I guess. Um, the brand name is uh, Mako, I think, or Mock. it's M-A-C-O, however you pronounce that. And, um, uh, on Amazon, I just got more from, I, I got more sheets for my money uh, with this brand. So I gave it a shot. It seems to do just as well. I mean, it's, it doesn't, I haven't had any problems with it sticking. Let's, okay, and there you go. Now the mushrooms kind of get lost on the jack. This might be something that's more geared toward number, number cards than uh, face cards because I feel like you can see the mushrooms better on the number cards than you can on the face cards. Stuff where there's lots of white space. So, look, I'm even getting paper clips. Um, so yeah, I did kind of, I did kind of go backwards and grab greeting cards out of last week, but, um, I mean, I kept saying, you know, oh, I want to use washi tape, but using washi tape, you know, uh, I was thinking I would make, um, I have some collage boards that I've been working on upstairs. And I, my idea for those is to, um, I'm sorry, I backed up from my table again. Uh, my idea for those is to put strips of washi, like coordinating washi strips, because I have, um, lots of different ones. And I just wanted to grab a few that I thought went together really well and then crisscross them all through the collage board and then cut it up. But I feel like you guys have kind of been watching me do collage master boards and I wanted to not do that again. So, um, I looked for an alternative to that. And I did get some wa um, some uh, washi tape to use on decorating these if, uh, you know, if it looks right. And, uh... Okay. See all this stuff is sticking to my scissors. <laughs> okay, there's one where you can see the mushrooms a little better. But see, it gives you a base on your card and you wind up with some already started cards with a background and then you just um, 
decorate on top. Now, I don't know how well, um, like I have some stickers that I wanted to use, but they're, they're, they're also, uh, washi stickers. So they're, well, I mean, that's what they're called. I don't know. I don't know what the criteria is there because some wash, some washi tape is not transparent or translucent or, you know, and then some is. So I don't, I don't know what the, the qualifications for being something being washy is. Okay, there's that one. But um, like I have these, you've seen me use them in other videos, these stamp stickers and they're uh, clear. So I don't know how well it would work on here just because you've already got a really busy background with this particular printout that I made. So I don't know that you would want to um, that you would want to put something else that you could see through over top because then you it I don't know I feel like that would get confusing the layers you'd be seeing layers through layers through layers and I'm all for layering but I feel like some of it needs to be solid. So like on the ones where the jack or the face card interferes, I feel like I've backed up for my table again and I apologize. I know I do that a lot. Sorry. One of these days, guys, one of these days. You know what would help? I had a chair. I do have a stool back here, but um, it's like my thumbnail table has become covered in things and I can't sit on it. So there's that one, and I love I like the corner. I think that's kind of cool. And I'm actually thinking about when these are done, making that into like a tag corner, maybe putting an eyelet in there and sticking some ribbon off of it. I just like the way those are uh, cut. All right, so give me one second. Okay, so I just got a couple of doilies. I was thinking that I might want to use in decorating. Um. So I have these. Now, what I was thinking was I do have this one where it's very busy and I have, I don't know if you can see my little scattering of labels and whatnot here. I have some Tim Holtz mushrooms and tag things. I have some of my, this is um, uh, some collage paper brand that I ordered, but these have mushroom stuff on them. And I thought maybe, you know, I don't know, that might be too much. I don't want to cover it up completely, but in the same token, this one is very um, hard to read. So, I mean, I don't and I do have um, washi tape here. So you can also, if I can get it off of the roll, you could also put Oh my goodness. This is the most stubborn washi I've ever used. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this much trouble. Of course, it might be the fat edges on these nails that I haven't worn away yet. I just need to sit down and soak them. I have soaked stuff and I haven't done it yet. Okay, so what if I put some of this on here to kind of decorate? Just right up the edge, right up the middle like this. And then we'll clip the edges. Okay, and then we can put this on here with that peeking out. I feel like it needs something else. I didn't bring any little mushrooms down. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Oh, you know what I do have though? I have these, I could cut some out. Like this jack has this, look, I still have stuff stuck to my scissors. I should get my clean scissors. 
since these are clean. I know all this is very straight line. It's also a fly by the seat of my pants, so. I don't know. I can't decide if I actually like that or not. This is supposed to be right there on this. I don't know if I want to cover up the um, the J. I kind of like the J's. You know, junk journaling. Yeah, I'm a little weird like that. Um, so I kind of like those. What if we put this one in? This is the one that's supposed to be right here. Maybe it needs another strip of... I'm not looking to overdo, but I am, I mean, I do want them to be decorated. Kind of the point, right? This is why I don't decorate on camera, by the way. I say this every time I decorate on camera, but it takes me forever. I feel like I watch you guys and it seems like you already have this stuff all visualized in your head. <laughs> and you just do it. And you don't have any problems. And... No, that may not be true. I'm just... My, uh... Interpretation. Now, I flipped it up this way this time. Let's see... I can put that on there. Let's ink it and see if that makes me feel any better. I've lost all my little ink daubers. Which one are you? Well, here's hoping. I went up there and I was like, well, I'm putting these on playing cards, so I, I don't want the mushrooms to be small because I don't want them to get lost on the card. And now looking at it, I'm like, on this one, I need a small one. <laughs> and if I'm going to put one on here and I don't have one, so yeah. So we're going to put this one on here. I don't want to cover up the J, but maybe I could get the one that goes there and do two of these. Uh... Well, let me see where the label sits first. Okay. Now the surface of these stickers, uh, this sticker sheet that I'm using is matte. So hopefully the glue will hold. And then you can, you'll be able to see, because it kind of gets lost against the jack um, because the, the background is so busy. Like on these ones, it's not so bad because there's plenty of open white space where you can see the mushrooms. Um, but on the jack, it, everything just gotta, gotta, got, kind of gotta, got lost. Okay. Let's actually, I'm going to ink this. I 
I mean, it's already kind of got um, like inky, splotchy spots, but the edges are kind of stark where it was cut out or punched out or whatever. I don't know. I didn't punch it. It came to me like that. So I'm using a lot of glue stick, guys. <laughs> I think it's because I had it out for some other for a uh, project I was doing uh, before I was doing this video. Uh, I was working on some other stuff and I was using the glue stick, so it was just here and at the ready. So I think I missed this corner. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to admit um, it's my first altered playing card. So I think it's kind of cute. Okay, so we got that one done. Here where we are. Okay, we got a few more minutes. Um, let's try this one that I've been looking at, and maybe we'll put. can't pick anything up. Maybe we'll put this on here. I like that. Um, I just feel like it needs something in the background. Maybe I should tear a piece of something just to put the mushroom on. Oh, goodness gracious. Ooh, I have, you know what I have a ton of over here? Book page. Let's tear a piece of this. It doesn't have to be big. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't want it to be big. I want it to be like just wide enough for the mushroom. So like if I stuck him on here, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I'll stick him on there and then tear the book page piece. That way I only get it as big as is absolutely necessary. I'm looking to not cover up the whole point of making the backgrounds of the cards. I mean, is you know, to be part of the decoration. I don't want to cover them up. I know we always say that we, when we layer, we cover stuff up and that's just a fact of layering, but you know, not all of it. Okay. Now I'm going to stick this. I'm actually going to use, I filled my Fabri-Tac guys. You guys have been hearing me talk about how I need to fill it. I filled it. Okay. Put this down right on here. And I'm going to tear. I mean, I want words around it. I'm not really worried about all this blank space over here. And I want it to be narrow. Perfect. Let's ink it. So like I said, um, the idea from this came from something I've been wanting to do since I saw, and I watched this video uh, of this lady doing these, um, she, like I said, she called it an, uh, an alter card cheat, you know, to get you started on your altered cards, because a lot of times cards have a coated surface and you end up having to, um, sand them. Well, sh her thought, her 
um, when she did this and she made her video, she said this, you know, sticking them down to these sticker sheets, there's no sanding or prep required. So I'm hoping that that's the case and that this holds. Okay, and then we'll put this on there and call this one done. Oops, slide it over just a little. All right, here we go. And there you have it. So I thought these were really cute. Um, and it is kind of a quick, easy way to get some sort of something on cards. Now, um, just to finish this off, uh, I wanted to show you, um, I'm going to keep all this stuff here because I'm hoping to, you know, like decorate a few more of these. I wanted to show you these ones that I had that are kind of full size. So I'm going to peel this back and stick a couple of cards down. Let's find ones that are like these ones that have lots of space. So these are already kind of card shaped. and one size. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these cards down and I'm gonna put the backing back on here and I'm gonna flip it over so you can see it. I'm not gonna cut these out. Um, I just wanted to give you the idea of this and then I might do it with one of these other sheets that's not mushroom so you can just see a variety before I go, uh, before I finish the video. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to stick this back on here. And there. So I don't know if you can see those, but see how these, this is all one on that one. So it's like one of these mushroom cards covering a card, which I think looks really cool. So, um... Yeah, I want to do these and then maybe I'll find matching mushrooms or something to put on to decorate or, you know, they can actually, uh, because of the backgrounds of these, I mean, if you really wanted to, that could be done. I mean, you just put some journaling space or something on the back or something you want on the back and that, I mean, that's done because, I mean, they can be either a base or they can be... Now, I also had... These ones, these are, these are going to be, I'm going to need taller uh, thingies. You know what you could use? I don't know if I have. This is the right size. I don't know if you'd want to put it over top of words, though. I'm afraid to try because I don't want to ruin them and you won't be able to read the words that are there, but you could put them on tags. So like if you didn't have cards that were this size and you wanted to make these into cards, you could put these on tags. These just happen to be a good size for playing cards. I did have also these, these are going to be tall and, and long too. Um, this is more mushrooms, but these might work for playing cards just because it would be like a centerpiece on the card. And then you would have space to decorate around it. So we'll just do the one and I'll put this back on and we'll flip it over and look at it. It's not the way that goes. Not that I guess it matters, but... No, because it really does matter, does it? Okay, so there's that. These are like little sewing tags. 
And then you could decorate around the border or, you know, whatever with uh, sewing ephemera. Or heck, you could cut that tag out on this card. There's nothing that says you can't cut up the card. So you could cut that tag out and make a tag out of it. And you'd get the clubs and the, the layered effect of the card, but just not the numbers. So, I mean, you could keep the numbers. You could, I don't know. But that's a different idea. Um, on the video that I'm going to link for you, you'll see her do it with um, some of those really beautiful floral backgrounds that you guys um, get printables of. Um, and those are gorgeous for this project. So I hope you liked this. Um, give it a shot. Uh, and um, if you'd like, I will I will also try and link this product, this these uh, sticker sheets from Amazon. I'll also link those in my description box if any of you wanted to go and buy these so you can try this. Um, th this was a lot of fun and I've been looking forward to trying this for a while now. So I'm really glad that I got to do this and I hope you liked it and I will see you next week. We got two more weeks left guys. And then I can't wait to see what they do with March. Next week is fabric, lace, thread, string, and buttons. So I got a week to think. Um, I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.